Listen, we actually have a hair product. Hello there, welcome to 5 favorites of November. It's just about time that I share 5 products with you that I thoroughly enjoyed in the month of November. And as the year comes to an end, it's getting a little depressing, isn't it? So let's start off with a hair product. Like I haven't had a hair product in my favorites for a minute. And it's because the cut of my hair is currently not very like curly girl method friendly and my hair doesn't really want to curl all that much. So lately I've been just kind of letting it live its own life. You know, it, it's very time consuming if you really want to get deep. So I just thought, you know what, well, fuck it. I'm just going to continue the curly girl method the way I do it. But I'm not going to be like super fixated on the results because literally it's just hair, okay? I have bigger things to worry about right now. <laughs> the favorite of mine is actually like a weatherproof gel. It's the Buclem Seal and Shield Curl Defining Gel. Now, uh, there are a lot of these gels on the market. I think the Weed Ed one is like the most kind of known one, but I hated that one so much. It was weighting down my hair incredibly. Like my hair was straight within like an hour, like actually straight, not even this. So it was just too heavy for me and other ones didn't really work that well. So when I saw that they came out with a new one, I thought, you know what, let's give it a shot. I actually really like their like super hot styler, the purple gel. And this one was supposed to be even better. So I got the full size straight up because why not, right? And it's actually such a good gel. It doesn't say that it's suitable for waves, but it works so well on my hair. It has kind of like this snotty texture, which I really like in my gels. And like the frizz, ever since I started using this, my frizz is on like zero. It's been raining, it's been snowing, it, the weather is fucking crazy right now. This just keeps my hair looking beautifully smooth all goddamn day. And it doesn't matter if I'm walking through rain or whatever. This works so well. Now, what's the secret, you ask? There is no glycerin, of course. It does contain a lot of different stuff. There's the babasu oil. There are some kind of different like floral extracts and oils. This is kind of their thing. It smells quite nice. It's like herby with a hint of orange. And it also contains some kind of like sugar extracts to keep the hair moisturized, which works really well. It doesn't dry out my hair even like after several days. My hair is still like feeling very soft, very nice. It's not frizzy. I'm just in love with this. And the hold is, I would say it is quite hard hold, but now it's just like one of the gels that I reach for literally all the time because in this crazy weather, it's probably like the best thing I can do for my hair to just keep the moisture out. If you struggle with weather, with frizziness, and you like your hard hold gels, I would definitely recommend it. I did not like their other products that much, but I feel like their gels are actually something to rave about because even the purple one is very good. It is super hard hold, but it doesn't really, you know, keep my hair at bay as much as this one does. So... This one is the winner for the winter. Now let's move on to the skincare. I have two products which can be kind of counted as a skincare. First, I'm going to talk about the Bioma Brightening Serum. This is a brand I'm actually working on, like a full review of their product. And this is one of their serums. I really like their packaging. It's so nice. Like overall, I've been just kind of falling in love with this brand more and more. They are very affordable, like the whole idea behind the brand is amazing, but I am going to talk about that more in like the dedicated video. What is great about the serum is that it's just like my favorite kind of serum for every day. You know, you have niacinamide, you have hyaluronic acid, but this whole brand is actually focused on like the barrier of your skin and just like the overall health of your complexion. So it also contains ceramides. And the best part about this is it doesn't feel like anything with ceramides I've ever used. So it's clear, it's very thin, it absorbs perfectly fine, it doesn't leave a residue. Like you're looking at it and you're like, where, where are the ceramides? And you don't know, you can find them because they're so well formulated. It doesn't like, I don't know. <laughs> like every product with ceramides that I have is heavy, ugly, feels a little weird, leaves a film, doesn't sink in like super well. It's, it has all these kind of like, you know, problems. But this one in particular is incredible. Like all the products from them actually, I feel like are very different in like the whole barrier care range of things. So I'm very glad I got this one. In all their products, they use like this triceramide complex, 
which I assume is like their thing and why all the products are so nice and like so thin and they're so easy to use. What I also really like is that they have like an ingredients list decoded so you see like every ingredient and there's kind of like said what it does, if it's an emulsifier, solvent, if it's like skin conditioning thing, pH adjuster, all kinds of stuff. And I'm so glad they do that because it just gives you such a better idea of what you're actually using and why. And you know me, I love niacinamide, I love hyaluronic acid. I've been using this so much that I had to stop for a minute so I don't use it up before I make the video. Like, that's how much I like it. And yeah, I can definitely see myself repurchasing this a lot. So there's that, my new favorite serum. And now let's move on to lip care because not only my face is dry as hell in the winter, but my lips are also dry as hell in the winter. I'm a big fan of any kind of lip balm, lip treatment, lip mask I can get. Some I like, some I don't. But this one I actually really grew to like. This is the Laneige Lip Treatment. Oh boy. Oh boy is this a thing. So I'm not wearing it right now, but you can see it in the video. Not only is it like super nice in texture, it's like slippery, it's really moisturizing, but it's not super heavy or sticky. It is just such a good texture. It is also kind of like iridescent, so it gives you like this really nice tint to your lips and this like nice sheen and glow. I really like that. And the applicator is also pretty cool. You have this like little lip gloss wand in the lid. It gets a little bit messy, but I try to wipe it off every time I put it back. So it's not super messy yet, but I can assume it could get very disgusting. So it is a little pricey. I actually got it on sale in like a Christmas set they had with their glowy makeup serum, which is also a very good product. So it was a steal for me. And I'm so glad I finally got it because I really like the texture. I would say that this is a hundred times better than their lip masks or the glowy lip balms that they have. Like this is the thing, people. You should be raving about this. Now let's move on to makeup. This is like the least makeup-y makeup I've had in a monthly favorites video for a while. So the first product we have is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It looks like they're huge, you know, age rewind concealer. It's not. They used to have a foundation in that packaging. It's not that. This is like their new kind of a multitasking, glowy, slightly tinted product. Everyone is coming out with these. I'm getting kind of sick of it because I don't really like them all that much. But this one I actually thought could be like a nice skin tint slash foundation because this is the kind of thing I would wear on the daily. Of course, I'm wearing it now. It's really low coverage. It works really well with other products. It's super convenient and easy to apply with that little sponge on top. So it's like so far, I'm getting like very good impression of this product. I have the shade light and let me tell you, it is a little bit dark for me, but because it's so sheer, it really blends out and I like the neutral undertone of it. So it doesn't look that crazy on me. It is very, very glowy. But if you powder it, it's fine. It still gives you like a little bit of sheen, but you don't look like a tin man. You, you, it just looks okay. It looks very nice. It's very easy to work with. And I've been just really liking it for traveling, for just like a really quick base where I don't want to just pull out any, you know, various tools and palette and the foundation and pump it out. And it's just very easy, very convenient. And I really like the finish. And the lasting power is also pretty good even though it's just a very light tint, so if it kind of fades, you cannot really see it, which is always a plus, but still it wears really well, and I really enjoy how it looks on my skin. So I would definitely recommend this one. Why I like this one rather than some other products from this category is also because it's so lightweight. It is way more lightweight on the skin, and like the glow isn't heavy. It doesn't feel too moisturizing or like you have something on your face. It just feels like a super lightweight foundation, which is exactly what I like. And I don't want it to feel like I put on a moisturizer with glitter, which is what some of these products essentially kind of feel like. So this one really just, yeah, it really tickled my fancy at the start and now I really enjoy it. So they say you can use this in four ways. Primer, concealer, highlighter, and BB cream. So primer, sure, if you want that glowy base. Concealer, definitely not. This is just gonna like make your under eyes glowy. I don't think that's... No, I don't think that's something I want. Highlighter, you could, you could, but it's too dark for me in this shade, so I would need a lighter shade. And then BB cream, that's pretty much what I've been using it as, so yep, love it, love it, can I get enough of it? And last but not least, we have a tinted lip balm, of course, what is on her lips? It's so glowy, it's so beautiful, is it her lip color, is it not? Of course it's not, you silly. It's just the Kiko colored lip balm. <laughs> this is one of my favorite products in the past couple months. I always keep forgetting about it because I usually wear it mostly when I'm like out somewhere and then I forget about it and then I don't wear it for a while 
and then I go somewhere and I rediscover it and it's like that all the time. Now this is a tinted lip balm which is just tremendous. They have so many beautiful shades. This is the shade Blackberry. I think it's the darkest one they have. Like these tinted lip balms look so good if you have like a juicy like berry dark color but it's super sheer it kind of gives you like this mysterious whale of color and i love that and this is exactly like what i wanted when i bought it this is what i was expecting and it's exactly what i got it's like red it's berry it's beautiful it is super sheer it's really easy to apply it doesn't make a lot of mess it doesn't really transfer it is moisturizing and your lips feel very nice but it's not super heavy so it kind of like you can like eat it off and then reapply and you don't really have to worry about it being all over your face. It's just like a perfect balance between the pigment and the texture, the balminess, but like the sheer and like everything mixed together. This is just one of the most beautiful tinted lip balms I've ever seen. Plus the packaging looks like a little bullet or something and I love it. Especially with this red turning into pink hair. This is one of those things that I wear so much because it's one of the very few lip products I have that are not like orange or brown or peachy because it doesn't really fit with this so I have to kind of find new products and new things to try with this hair color and this lip balm is like perfect match it looks so good it doesn't look like overly crazy it's not too dark like one of the best purchases of this summer and I think that is it those are my five favorites of the month of November we're getting into the end of 22 damn we should do like a favorite recap or something. So thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing. And if you want to see more videos where I talk about my five favorites of the month, you can check out the playlist. See ya!